Welcome back. In this, the second tutorial of Office 365, I am going to show you a little bit about the settings, the notifications, and how to edit your profile, as well as basically just how to navigate around the site. So again, to access the website, you could have um, just searched in Google for Microsoft or Office 365 login, or you could go to the WCPS website and access the employee email login link from there. Uh, you log in with your WCPS username and password, the one that changes um, every time that you are prompted to change it through the help desk. So at this point, this is the main screen whenever I log in to Office 365. Um, if I wanted to access any of the applications online, I would access them here. A couple things that I can do from here. Um, the little bell in the top right corner is your notifications. So if I click there, I currently don't have any new notifications, but this is where any notifications would come. So if someone shared a document with me, it would show up there. If someone left me a message, it would show up there. Um, the little wheel is your settings. So the first thing you can do is change your theme. So it gives a, a variety of different ones. Um, to choose from maybe I feel like crayons today so I'll go with that and you can see it just changes the um, little banner picture at the top so just something to give it a little personal touch also under settings are office 365 settings now with the office 365 settings most of them are already set by our um, IT team at the county level but there are a few things that you can change um, one of the things that is very significant, in my opinion, is your start page. So right now, whenever I log in, I come to that page that I just showed you where all the apps are. Now, if you use this website mostly for mail at this point, you might want the mail to be the um, screen that comes up whenever you first log in, or you could change it to any one of these other things. So that is completely your choice, and again, just a way to kind of um, personalize it. Like I said, mine is Office 365, the home page. And I kind of like it that way, so I'm going to leave it that way. Um, notifications, this is where you can um, be notified for reminders or new mail, and you can turn on, on or off the sound. So when you get new mail, I'm sure if you've used this site, you know you have the little ding. This is where you could turn it off if you um, wanted to. The software tab is where it's going to go and allow you to download these um, applications or programs to your computer, um, like much like what you're used to using. <clears throat> your password, like I said, changes whenever you change your other password, so there's no need to do that. And um, contact preferences, this is where how people can get a hold of you, so you can add an email address or phone number if you would like. A couple of the things here along the side. Um, the install status, that would be what you're looking at as far as what docu or what programs you're downloading. Um, app permissions, are these are set for you. So the administrator for our county has kind of already made these, um, de has already determined what settings we need to have on here and done that for us. Um, same thing with subscriptions, there's not really anything to do there. Personal info, um, so here there's a button that says why can't I edit, and again, this is where it tells you that your job and job title, um, those kinds of things have been controlled by our IT uh, department, so <clears throat> nothing that you can really update there. Um, and then my account just kind of has all of the things together. Now there are a few things, uh, additional things that you can do to make this um, personalized. If you click in the top right corner on the uh, little guy, um, this will bring up kind of your account. If you click on About Me, it's going to open up something called Delve. Now I'm going to talk about Delve a little later in a different tutorial, but just so you know, this is where you can go to edit your profile picture, to add things, access some different things, and make it a little bit more personal. Um, up next, I'm going to, oh, before we end, just something here about the grid box. So anytime that you're on a screen like this, if you click the grid box, it brings up all of the applications and you can pick the one that you want to go to. If you ever want to get back just to your home page, whatever you've set that as, you can just click on the Office 365 in the top left corner and it will take you back there. Um, up next, we're going to take a look at the people um, application here and kind of talk a little bit about what that can do for you.